CapeCast. Hello, folks. CapeCast was in Bourne recently and noticed this super cool-looking vehicle outside the Jonathan Bourne Historical Center. It turns out to be an authentic amphibious vehicle called a duck that had an important role during World War II, and we wanted to learn more about it. Behind me is a, a duck we acquired for the Cape Cod Military Museum. Uh, when the museum is built, she will be placed down at Aptuxet, where our project will be. She was built in January of 1944. She did a lot of her work uh, down at Falmouth at Pompanessa Beach, training the soldiers in preparation for the war in North Africa, Sicily, Italy, and the Normandy invasion. She never left the United States, uh, but she served her time uh, all through uh, Pompanessa uh, down uh, in Falmouth and at Camp Edwards in, in extensive training uh, for the troops uh, for preparation for different invasions. She's the centerpiece of what we want to do uh, with the military museum because of the amphibious uh, core that was developed at Camp Edwards during World War II in early 1942. When the duck was brought down to be perfected at Pompanesset and at Nantucket Sound, this dive plane effectively was not uh, installed on it. And so what happened was they would go out into the water and the, the front of it, it would start, the duck would start to porpoise and the water would come up over the front piece of it and they had a great deal of difficulty. So they had a gentleman uh, who was uh, one of these fix-it guys. He put this on the front. It's very simple. It's a piece of metal plate supported and stopped the porpoising. And every single duck that was built afterwards, this happened. They put them on and they worked perfectly. The duck sat forlornly behind the Picasso fire station for many years. It had been used by the fire department in Bourne. She did, however, in the hurricane, I believe it was of 54, she was successful in saving a number of people uh, out in Buzzards Bay that had gone and foolishly had gone out in a boat. It took a year just to get her into shape the way she is right now. And what we did then was, as a military museum, we took and uh, put her into different uh, parades. We had uh, veterans that had been uh, in Africa and uh, at Normandy and at Okinawa who were on board her. Where we're located today and where she's on static display, but unfortunately you can't get up into it, uh, we're, on, we're at Keen, 30 Keene Street in Bourne Village at the Bourne Historic Center.